Christine opened a teenage dance club, would you allow your children to attend? I would as long as I thought she was safe and it was well chaperoned and there was definitely no alcohol there. I would, yeah. Absolutely not. My daughter can't date until she's 25. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I would really have to investigate and find out what's involved, what kind of um, parental participation is is involved in it. Yeah, if it closed before 11. Yeah, it depends where it is, of course, and if it's well uh, chaperoned, especially if they continue to keep safety a, a priority. I know at Case, for instance, they have to put in metal detectors and they have policemen on site. Yeah, it would depend on location and hours and costs. I think I would uh, go there and see it myself first and spend a little time around there, see what it was about, and then sure. Sure, I think that King needs something to do. Constructive. I'm not sure it would be successful. There have been attempts before uh, to do things like this, and they've not uh, succeeded economically. The startup costs are big. I'm sure there are large insurance costs, and the things have not worked in the past. We now return to the students to hear their views and opinions on the choice between a dance club or a water park. Between the choices of a teen dance club and a water park, which would you prefer and why? The teen dance club because they don't have enough stuff for um, us teens to do. I prefer a water park because I like swimming more than I like dancing. Teen dance club because um, it's like a place where kids, like teens, can hang out without being around with their younger brothers and sisters? Um, probably a teen dance club because that's open all year round when a water park's open, only open during like the summer. Uh, if Racine opened a teen dance club, would you attend? Why or why not? Yes, I would because it would be fun to do something on Friday night with your friends. Okay. I would go partially, but I wouldn't go every single weekend because I figure it would just get bored. If there were an outdoor water park in Racine, would you attend often? Yes, I would. Yes, because it'd be a lot more fun instead of going all the way to Illinois to go to Six Flags or driving all the way up north to go to the Wisconsin Dells. It'd be more convenient, and, and now that gas prices are up, it'd be less money. After setting the goal of improving youth activities in the city of Racine, it was essential that criteria was established to rate the sustainability of any potential actions that were under consideration. It is important to set these criteria before actions are considered to avoid a biased decision. Several criteria were set for each of the three E's of sustainability, and data was collected to rate each of the criteria. Let's examine one criterion for each of the three E's to demonstrate the process that was used. On a scale of 1 through 10, 10 being the absolute safest, what do you think the safety level would be at a teen dance club? Explain your decision. I think it'd be about a 7, 8, because there's all different ages and not just one or two. I think it would be like a 6, because people still start fights for no good reason, even if police officers are there. Um, probably like a 5 or a 6, because I'm sure that people would get into fights and stuff. Mm, about a 7 or an 8, because some kids just might want to like start trouble or something. Like, probably a 3, because there's a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of killings and stuff going on and everything. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the absolute safest, what do you think the safety level of a water park would be, and why? Well, maybe about an 8, because there is the risk of falling or drowning or whatever, but there will be lots of lifeguards and supervision, so it will be pretty safe. On a scale of 1 through 10, 10 being the absolute safest, what do you think the safety level would be at the water park? Um, probably like a 9, because there would be a lot of lifeguards. Uh, how much would you be willing to pay to get into the dance club? Maybe 3 to $5. Do you think a dance club would be affordable for teens? Yeah, definitely. It should be either less than a movie or just the same amount. How much would you be willing to pay to get into the water park? 3 to $4. Uh, maybe about $10 if it was a really fun water park. So. Uh, about 20 bucks. If there were a dance club, do you think all races, cultures, and different groups of people would be accepted and welcomed? Well, sadly, probably not, but hopefully it can be. Yeah, because it's like 
an equal opportunity for everyone and everyone that's in the city that's a teen can go should be able to go to the teen dance. Yes, because nobody deserves to be treated lower than anyone else. I think everyone should be welcome because America is free and everyone has the same rights as each other. Of course, because everybody should have a chance to have fun. Do you think that there should be any restrictions as to who can go to the water park? Why why not? Um, definitely not, just because everybody can go and it would just be fun for anyone all ages. No, because it should be a fun thing, like a family thing or whatever, so everybody can go and enjoy themselves. Would you be willing to pay a slight tax increase for the funding of a teen dance club? Ah, uh, tax increase. Now you're talking about my wallet. I would prefer that a teen dance club be funded through private donations, through grants. I would certainly be willing to donate my time to write grants to get the money to fund an operation. I would hope that a tax increase would be maybe the, the last resort. If it couldn't be funded any other way, through private foundations, through individuals, perhaps a tax increase, but I know that our community um, is very much against tax increases. We have a hard time increasing taxes just to fund public education. Do you think the taxpayers of Racine, of Racine would be willing to pay for this, this facility through a small tax increase? If not, how do you see the, this type of park being funded? I think what you would have to be looking at is definitely a privately owned um, um, water park. This would have to be someone that would come into our community and probably build that. I don't see um, a climate right now within our community to fund any other types of, of um, quality of life programs, new quality of life programs at this point. In order for the criteria to be evaluated, a rating scale had to be established to facilitate the data, with zero being the lowest and three being the highest and most positive. As seen in this chart, after the criteria was evaluated, the sums were averaged for each of the three E's respectively. By using a decision grid, this information is arranged into a more useful format. McKinley Middle Charter School's analysis is beginning to take shape. Although the ratings for these criteria are derived directly from the responses we received from members of the Racine community, the crew realizes that some subjectivity enters into this analysis. After the tables have been filled in and the averages are plotted on the sustainable decision grid, triangles are then drawn connecting the three points for each of the potential actions to determine which one is the most sustainable option. The larger the triangle, the more sustainable the option. It is obvious from the criteria that were selected that the water park is the most sustainable solution for attaining our goal of improving youth recreational activities within the greater Racine area.